How's it going guys? Kyle here with Awesome Sauce News. Today we'll be taking a look at the GTX 780 Ti from NVIDIA. Now this is their most recently launched flagship card, and it does feature the same GK110 GPU as both the GTX Titan and the GTX 780, which NVIDIA recently launched. And uh, it does have a few beefed up specs. In fact, almost every area of specification has been amplified since the release of the GTX 780. It's pretty much an unlocked, a fully unlocked and unleashed G GK110. So we're gonna take a look at some of the spec differences between those three cards. Uh, as well as the differences between this card and the 290X, the R9 290X that AMD recently launched. Um, you also get all of the same features that you would with any 700 series card from NVIDIA, like a Shadow Play, GPU Boost 2.0, uh, 3D Vision Surround, and all that good stuff. Um, but uh, essentially, I'm just gonna be doing an overview of this, the spec differences, and I'm gonna be releasing another video in the future, actually, probably right around the time this one goes up, uh, of benchmarks. So you'll be able to actually see for yourself if the $700 price tag that's attached to this card is worth the performance increase that you'd see over the $500 uh, GTX 780, for example, or the $1,000 GTX Titan, which I'm not sure why it's still at $1,000. It's kind of outrageous because, as you will soon see, this card um, beats it in almost every test that I run. But uh, with that said, why don't we take a look at some of the spec differences between this card and the other two GK110 GPUs from NVIDIA. Okay, so right off the bat, we can see a base clock and a boost clock frequency increase from the 780 to the 780 Ti. Uh, actually, the boost clock of the GTX Titan ends right where the base clock of the 780 Ti begins at 876 megahertz. And then we get a boost clock of 928 megahertz, uh, still trailing behind the R9 290X at one gigahertz. Uh, you do get more stream processors on the 780 Ti than you do with the Titan. Um, and that's, once again, this is a fully unlocked GK110. So you're gonna get 2,880 over the previous previous 2688 with the Titan uh, 290X, still still not too far behind with 2816. As far as memory goes, you get half the amount of the, the Titan uh, frame buffer at three gigs. Um, three gigs should be plenty. I'm not sure if they're gonna release a four gig version of the card, but that'd be pretty cool. Uh, even though you have half the amount of uh, frame buffer as the Titan, you do have a faster memory clock. So the effective memory clock has gone up from six gigahertz uh, with both the Titan and the 780 to seven gigahertz with the 780 Ti. Uh, you also get a bandwidth increase for your memory going from 288.4 gigabytes per second to 336. And memory interface remains the same across the board with the Nvidia cards at 384 bit, uh, trailing just behind the R9 290X at 512. All right, so here I have my GTX 780 Ti and alongside it, the GTX Titan for a relative comparison. Right off the bat, you can see the coolers are pretty much exactly the same with a few minor differences, one being the painted aluminum fin array, now painted in black, as opposed to the more traditional, just chromed out look, uh, the unpainted aluminum fin array there with the GTX Titan as well as with the 780. And most graphics cards for that matter don't usually paint their fin arrays. I'm not sure why Nvidia decided to do this. Maybe they just got tired of the old traditional look. They wanted it to match this part of the shroud. I'm not really sure but uh, I don't think it perf uh, affects performance either way, so it doesn't really bother me. Uh, one aesthetic change I can see definitely why they made was uh, the painting of the engraved branding of GTX 780 Ti, now painted in black, so you can see it a lot better, as opposed to the Titan and the 780, uh, you just couldn't really see it all that much. Um, and, you know, part of having a badass high-end card in your system is to be able to show it off to your friends, and you can easily do so now uh, with this, this new painted look. Um, aside from that, oh yeah, look at this, the PCIe, Gen 3 connector, it's black right there, and it's brownish orange right here. Not exactly sure why that matters. Paul pointed it out to me, and I was like, ooh, there's a difference. I was just, I was just pining for differences between these two coolers, uh, between these two cards, and that, that was pretty much all I could come up with. Everything else is more or less the same, still uses the vapor chamber uh, to uh, do your thermal dissipation. It's got the same blower style fan that'll eject air out the front as well as the back of your card through those ventilation slots. Uh, the rest of the shroud is pretty much enclosed, so uh, you're not gonna have too much heat dispersed inside of your case, which is always nice. Here's your, a look at your PCIe Gen 3 connector once again. Over here, you've got some power connectivity, your six pin and eight pin PCIe connectors. Uh, I would recommend a 600 watt power supply for this card. Uh, there's your GeForce GTX branding in green, which also has the green LED behind it. it lights up and illuminates and looks really cool. Uh, SLI fingers for up to four way SLI with this card. So if you wanna kill some games, go ahead and do so. I highly encourage it. Let's take a look at the PCB. It's uh, got a kind of a glossy black finish. Looks almost identical to the Titan, once again, except the Titan, of course, has that massive amount. It's got a six gig frame buffer, once again, so you've got all the memory modules on this side of the PCB. Uh, they're on the opposite side of the uh, PCB for the GTX 780 Ti, uh, so you don't really see them, but you can kind of see where they would be surrounding the GPU right there, the GK110. Uh, other than that, the, the, the PCB looks more or less the same. And uh, last but not least, let's take a look at the video out. So you've got two dual link DVI ports, one digital, 
uh, one digital only, that's your DVI-I digital only, and your digital and analog DVI-D port right there, both dual link. HDMI port, display port, video outs, and this is a obviously a two-slot card design, and it's a... Uh, I forget how long this card is. I don't have a ruler on me, which is pathetic. I think this is, what, a 10 and a half inch card? But, uh, yeah, it'll fit in most cases. That's a very educated guess, Kyle. It'll fit in most things. Uh, but there you have it. There's a look at the hardware for the GTX 780 Ti. All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up for this overview. Once again, this has been NVIDIA's latest flagship card, the GeForce GTX 780 Ti, featuring the Unleashed GK110 GPU. And if my benchmark video is up right now, uh, go ahead and check that out if you haven't already, and let me know what you think of the performance numbers. Uh, the results are pretty expected, given all the specs that we've gone over today compared to the other cards. It's going to be no surprise that this card beats out a lot of the other competition um, on almost every test I run. But still fun to see nonetheless, and uh, let me know out of the, the top three cards on the market right now, as far is um, reasonable cards. I'm, I'm excluding the Titan because it's a thousand dollars and it's out of the question. Completely ridiculous. Um, but out of the 780 Ti uh, versus the 780 as well as the R9 290X, which card would you go with given all things considered really all the features that you get on both ends whether it be Mantle and True Audio on AMD side or GFE, Shadow Play and GPU Boost 2.0 bunch of other things on NVIDIA's side. Uh, given the price, given the performance, all things considered, which of those three cards would you probably be willing to go with the most? And uh, I'm really curious to know, so let me know in the comment section below in this video or the benchmark video. And um, yeah, pretty exciting stuff. New card. Yay. Uh, thank you all for watching this video. Please like it if you like this content and dislike it if you think I'm failing at life. And be sure to subscribe to Awesome Sauce News for more tech videos if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next video.